have a look at the Barbco 824 remote controlled cradle boring machine. The 824 installs 8 to 24 inch diameter casing and is designed specifically for quick and efficient small diameter bores. It is the first and only cradle boring machine in its size. Its compact size and weight of only 7,400 pounds allow for small pipe layers and excavators to handle the machine with ease. It is also the only CBM on the market today that does not require a rider. The 824 is direct drive with 64 horsepower, 4 speed transmission, and a number 10 Fairfield gearbox producing about 40,000 foot pounds of torque. It includes a powerful Ramsey winch and high force lockdown cylinders and chain to secure the casing to the machine. The operator's council has a manual pressure gauge and throttle, a remote switch for local or remote operation, hour meter, RPM gauge and service indicator lights, hydraulic oil cooler with auto and constant on position, winch float for free spooling the cable, operation lights facing the cable and a set of lights underneath facing the spoils and a tether connection for the remote in case there's trouble pairing the remote. You'll use this cable. On the front of the machine you have these high four cylinders with chains to lock down the casing to the saddles. The saddles are interchangeable from 8 inch to 20 and the main system has a built-in 24 inch saddle. On the side of the machine there's a side discharge for the spoils. These panels can be unbolted on either side or left bolted in place for the spoils to go out of the bottom. Let me show you how to pair this remote. First you start with your, your CBM in local position. Make sure your e-stops are out. There are three of them total. One here on the machine, one by the winch, and one on the remote. Then turn the start switch to the on position and then turn it over to start to crank the engine. At this point you need to turn your remote control on. The status light blinking indicates that the power is to the remote. Then turn the gas panel to the remote position and activate your remote. The solid red light indicates that this remote control is live and ready to go to work. We're going to demonstrate how to get your winch in free spool mode so you can We'll do your rigging. So the first thing we're going to do is fire this unit up. We're paired already to the main rig and we're going to fire it up using the remote. I'm going to bring our throttle up. And then we're going to put the winch into float mode and run our, our winch reverse. Now there's float mode, he's taking the cable out, and we're going to stop the float. Now our cable is out. Okay, now our cable's set up and hooked up for all intents and purposes, and we're going to go ahead and start turning our auger and pulling our cable in. We're going to go on a boring. So go ahead and engage your clutch. Notice that rag's tumbling around in the spindle. Now we're going to go start our winch and we're going to pull forward with our winch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put forward lock on. Now let go of the controls and it's continuing to pull the uh, truck in, the winch. To stop this action, simply activate your winch and it kicks it out. Or you could have hit the forward lock button and it also would have kicked it out. This remote control has a winch high-low, has a float on-off as we've demonstrated. We, have a, we can increase or decrease our throttle and we can restart the unit. But most importantly, if there's any trouble on the board, you can hit this e-stop and kill the machine. And what happens when you do that is it pulls the clutch in, which will stop the rotation of the auger, and then it shuts down the engine. If the e-stop has been activated, to start the unit with the remote, you first need to deactivate the e-stop. 
and then you need to power the unit box on, your status light's blinking, and then you need to activate the remote, and that turns red. Now you can start the unit from the remote and go back to work. The safety features embedded in the remote in, include an activation button that has a 30 second timer on it, which means if no call for action is being given on this remote, no command, the activation button will shut down as it just did. To reactivate, you simply push the button in again. If you were in forward lock mode, this feature would not deactivate. Another safety to feature on the remote is if somebody should tumble or fall while running the remote. This action causes the remote to lose contact with the machine and shut down as well. This concludes this product demonstration. For more information on Barbco Cradle Boring Machines, contact us at 800-448-8934.